What the hell is it? Who's Amanda? Okay, what is this? Clover. I was saying uh, all DNA evidence uh, looked like it was the victims, so it was, didn't seem like it was anybody else, I guess. Clover print paper. Still smells like her. Let's take a look at that. Oh. I found a letter. Okay, little Peggy's letters, zero one. Uh, so it says to David on it. Um, no, wait, what the hell? Why did I do that? Okay. September 14th, 2009. Okay, uh, David. The thought of you reading this makes me very happy. I hope you've calmed down a, li a little. I love you as you are, and I'll love the David you become. This is the second time I've written that. Do you remember the first time? Today, I found all of my old letters. It's strange they've become your case materials. All the letters I ever sent, a perfect collection. Going back to high school days. They're obviously important to you, stored so neatly. Maybe you respect them too much to tear them open. Is that it? So this is a challenge from the Peggy I am now to the David you'll become. I've hidden my letters old and new. I want you to find all of me and all of our memories and know the Peggy I was, the Peggy I am now, and the Peggy I'll become. Little Peggy Young, September 14th, 2009. Okay. Apparently she's left her letters around. Let's open the door, by the way. Is somebody trying to break in? Or what is it? Okay, there's the front door. A single piece of oak. She chose it carefully. Almost no visitors come. <laughs> okay. This is... What is this? Uh, bought at the general store? This is a umbrella stand, I guess. Okay, that was the room we just came from, uh, the area where we came from. I'm ignoring that uh, door thing going, door shaking, because I know as soon as I open it, something's going to happen. So let's look around first. Maybe I need a gun or something. Okay, uh, this is a bookshelf. Um, investigation text, the detective bought it. Dynamic Sports, sports magazine, uh, how to select a mouthpiece, and NHL analysis. Let's take a look at this. Uh, scrapbook item, number one. Okay. Uh, the 2014 Winter Olympics ice hockey news. Okay, apparently he's an ice hockey fan. Last week, candidate team members for the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi were announced. These candidates will now undergo further training in order to make the election of the, f of the final team. Okay. In, Van in Vancouver four years ago, America and Canada faced off in the final for the first time since uh, Salt Lake City in 2002. Defeated by their Canadian rivals by just one point, the Americans proved unable to enact their revenge. The word is that this time they will defeat Canada and take the title, and the public have high expectations for the team member members who have been selected. I don't know about that. Will this tournament be their chance to finally take revenge? Hmm. Oh, okay. I can, okay, no more. What does that say? Penguins? Okay, okay. The Penguins, I guess, are the team. <coughs> well, okay. There's some kind of tabloid magazine. The Mickey Norman Report. <coughs> Bizarre case is in Boston. Excuse me. Oh, that's right. He's in Boston, so that should be the Boston Bruins. If he likes uh, hockey. Strange death cases springing up rapidly. Okay, Mickey Norman's Twilight Report 1, scrapbook item number 2. Oh, 
<laughs> okay. Spontaneous human combustion. A person can suddenly burst into flames and then burn up in a short space of time. Do you believe in the existence of such a phenomenon? There was a bizarre occurrence in Boston last month. A university student, out during the weekend partying with his friends, was suddenly enveloped in flame and burned to death. As shocked friends looked on, the victim's body was quickly consumed by fire. Once the flames were extinguished, all that remained were the tips of his hands. The rest of him reduced to charred black ashes. That is isn't all. Boston has seen a series of unexplained events in recent times. I'm planning on heading down there and investigating these bizarre incidents. My next re report will likely come on the ground from Boston. Look forward to my findings. Okay. Not sure what he's doing with that, but okay, there's a clock here and fireplace. Uh, looks like a TV. Uh, what says coffee and cookies? Snack crumb, spill coffee. Doesn't bug me. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do we have? A TV, an old TV. Uh, analog reception, of course. Uh, the cable TV box. What is this? Potato chips and uh, there's a uh, oh, it's a squirrel. Put oh, what? we could push the squirrel. Why do we want to push the squirrel? <laughs> That's what I mean. It's gonna knock it off and kill it. Is that what? Oh, okay. You did. Oh, all right. He just made it run away. I thought it meant push him off the window, <laughs> like knock him onto the street, you know, down below, kill him. Because it looks like we're a few stories up, so. Okay, let's grab the chips. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a st Oh, it's a stamina. Okay, alright. Uh. Okay, so what was this down here again? Oh, uh, fortune cookies. Comes with Chinese delivery, eleven ninety nine for 40. Uh, has hardcore fans. <laughs> okay, let's eat a fortune cookie. Okay, uh. Read as much as you can. People hate bugs but love bookworms. What? <laughs> Let's go for it. Let's have another fortune cookie here. Life is love. Hmm. Am I getting, uh. <laughs> Am I getting stamina or anything from this? I guess I could get three of them, huh? Because it says one out of three. Okay. A Nobel Prize for the first man who put cheese in a hamburger. Uh, okay. Can I grab another one? No, I cannot. Okay, I can get coffee though, <laughs> apparently. Uh. Hmm. Penguins. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's grab some more coffee there. I think you need it, buddy. A little too much of the TV. Uh, yeah, wow. He really digs his coffee, huh? <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Coffee, black, just brewed, aroma of mocha. Hmm. Sounds pretty good, actually. Matter of fact, I think I will have a cup of coffee right after this. What is that? That is a magazine rack. Did we look at this? No. Okay, academic journal. Effects of uh, new drugs in the human brain. Why do people have to rely on drugs? Okay. New item in scrapbook. Scrapbook number three. Item number three. The workings of the brain. Neurons and synapses. The brain is formed from a complex neural network. The network is created from specialized cells called neurons, each working as a functioning unit. These neurons carry electrical or chemical signals. When a signal is transmitted inside a single neuron, they are exchanged in the form of electri electrical impulses. However, when signals are passed between different neurons, they are exchanged in a chemical form via neurotransmitters. Okay. The part containing a neurotransmitter is called a synapse. 
If anything goes wrong with this part, neurons will be una unable to correctly pass information between neurons. This can lead to a variety of I illnesses. Uh, problems with synapses can be both congenital and acquired due to, due to injury, and may be induced temporarily or chronically by taking specific drugs. Now, uh, it can also, um, many of these, uh, many new pharmaceuticals are, very, are purposely doing, um, purposely uh, breaking up some of the the transmissions between uh, uh, synapses to purposely to uh, help, for example, um, uh, people to help people with uh, depression and uh, like um, PTSD and stuff like that to uh, try to lessen some of the some of the emotional impact you know so it's also used both ways it can be used you know it's used as I mean it sometimes it uh, has it can be an illness and make, it can also be used as uh, different various pharmaceuticals to help people with uh, various mental conditions so okay that's oh, what was that oh, okay and the metal again I guess Okay, we're gonna go over this. Fight. We're we're going over. We're going there. Forty minutes, but I'm gonna. Uh, I want to finish this for a little bit. So this this file will be a little bit longer than normal. Oh, okay. We have. Oh, okay. We could play different various songs. I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, actually, you know what? I'll listen to it for a second. Sorry, I'm just worried about these cover claims or something. It's very pretty. Okay, let's just stick with the main soundtrack thing there. Okay. I'm trying to get over across to the uh, the other side there. What is that? I'm gonna look at this board he has here, this golf board, oh, this golf board, okay, photos of sus suspects, phone numbers, newspaper clippings, receipts. Okay. No extra cases, no extra, no active cases available. Oh, okay, I guess as I, no, that's, oh, that's, you know what, that's a very, Cool map of. Uh, I recognize this uh, map. This is a map area of the Boston area. This is the. Uh, this is downtown Boston area. Here. This is the North End. This is the bridge going over into Charlestown. This is the Navy Yard. Charlestown Navy Yard. This is near where the the USS Constitution is here. Hmm, this must be, they must have grabbed an actual map. Okay. Where's, uh, where's, okay, I thought that was an actual letter. Okay, I think we've seen enough here. Let's, uh, get over to that rattling door. Okay, there's the fridge. <laughs> Uh, first memo, throw away leftovers. Second memo, put it back where you found it. And third memo, keep the doors closed. Uh, okay, apparently he writes the memos to himself and puts them on the door there. Okay, let's open up the door and uh, see what's going on. Okay, his fridge is a mess. Uh, <laughs> this is... No, he... Ale. Okay. Oh, we had enough ale. We had enough tequila. I mean, uh, he has bear pizza, leftover pizza, some canned seafood, and it looks.
looks like milk. Uh, are we gonna grab the canned seafood? We're going to SPR. Okay. And then we ate it. Uh, probably not a good idea. No. Okay. We drunk already. Let's go for the ale. Oh, we went on the food list. Okay. Can see the sink. Oh, alright. There's water. Yeah, we can use some water. Okay, and now we are going to take out this door. Oh, wait, no, we aren't. We're looking in the cupboard first. Oh, there's, okay, bandages. What did it say in the cupboard here? Bandages. Uh, Okay, let's hold on here. I might need those later. I'm only going to use them all up now since I already... It looks like I have a full 10 health, so what's the point of using the bandages? Okay, let's take care of this, uh... Scratches. Terrace door, alloy metal. Amanda is the culprit. Oh yeah, he said Amanda before. Alright, well, um... This file is getting very, very long. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just uh, hold off for a minute. And uh, we'll get to this uh, rattling door next time. Hold on, let me save first at the phone. Where did he just throw? Okay. Okay. Let's, uh, what is that? Sorry, I keep seeing more and more stuff to look at every time I'm... What is that? There's something on the floor there. I see it. Oh, it's that squirrel again. Okay, what? I saw I saw something on the floor over here. Can I look down? No. Oh, oh, I can look down. I have to press the uh, Republic Cody. Okay, is there more stuff here? Or? Oh, I had no idea. Okay, could I look up too? No, no. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> Alright, we're heading over to the door, and uh, we're going to see what level it is. You know what? Let's go down here first. I'm going to probably break this file in half. Uh, I'm getting on close to an hour. <laughs> not a bedroom door, not locked. A space just for two. Okay. Let's go into the bedroom for a moment. Get away from that rattling. King size bed. White fur. Cat? Wait, is it a cat? Oh. oh. Okay, he just jumped in the bed. And he's reading a magazine. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. I'm sorry. Uh, what is this? Okay, oh, there's the letter I read before. Yeah. Okay, a scrapbook. Oh, I can see. The, oh, okay, it's just a place for me to be, to be able to read my letters and scrapbooks and stuff. Okay, here's my closet. Okay. What? Uh, what, is, what is this? What's going on? Change the character's outfit. Oh, I could change my clothes. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Alright. What do we get going on here? 70s shirt. Off style t shirt. Waxed hoodie. A public hoodie too. Okay. Let me just go for something simple. Uh, just throw on a hoodie. Oh, what are these? They give you different stats. What? It, okay. What does that mean? I get plus plus twenty stamina. But okay, I guess. Uh, all right. All right. Let's. If that's gonna give me a what is collaboration? What is that? 
Okay. If uh, oh, I could change my beard too. No, be oh, no beard. The sloppy beard. Thin beard. No. Oh God. Let's leave the sloppy beard. Hair going wild from neglect. That's not wild. Uh, woke up on the right side of the bed. And discreet. This actually looks more like my beard. I'm keeping it. <laughs> Tops. I had that. Neckties. I don't have a necktie. Apparently. Bottoms. I have detective pants. Uh, 70s pants. Okay. Off style pants. Young pants. Who cares about fashion? <laughs> uh, who cares about fashion in your day off? Okay. Uh, oh, Young's pants. Okay. Uh, looking relaxed is important. Relaxed pants. Uh, those relaxed pants might look good with these uh, hoodie. But, eh, yeah, you know what? I'll go for the relaxed pants since it works with that hoodie there. And shoes. I have detective shoes. His usual outfit. Uh, Fashion from the good old days. 70 shoes. They're just a different color. Uh, Okay, as well, fashion any day off, off style shoes and relax shoes. Uh, wait, let me look at this for a second. Nah, yeah, you know, I don't like those shoes. I'm just gonna go for the screw it. He's a he's a detective, right? He might need to run. So let's get let's keep him with the sneakers. No matter how bad they look. <laughs> Oh, actually, wait, do I get any bonuses for that? Or no, I guess I don't. Okay, you know what? We'll just stick them with the det detective shoes then. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. I want to see the preview. Okay, this is what we're looking like for now. I don't like that hoodie, but uh, it gives us plus 20 whatever. That bonus. What is this? Energy drink. Tastes like medicine. Okay. Only half used. My closet. Her clothes are still there. I keep getting credit for uh, looking at the entire item. Oh, what? Looking at items. And fully looking at them and just standing and staring at them. Oh, what is that? Oh, I got another hoodie. Oh, wow, look at all the uh, hockey sticks he has. Did he used to be like a hockey player or something? I don't know. Wow, he's got a helmet and everything. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. He had a trophy there. Okay, trophy. 1998 champion, Thompsonville Penguins. That's supposed to be like Somerville. Is that what's going on? <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess he was in the Penguins. Or he has some kind of... Alright, let's look at this. A movie and comic magazine. Top detective, top ten detective movies. Okay, let's look at this. this is the scrapbook item number four. History of World Cinema, the Cannes Film Festival. It's that time of year again, the Cannes Film Festival. Which entry will obtain the honor of the Palme d'Or this year? We'll be covering the nominated entries separately here, but here, uh, but here, let's take a look at the history of the festival. The Cannes Film Festival was established in 1939, partly as competition to the, Venice, to the Venice Film Festival. However, the Second World War erupted on the day of the festival, <laughs> and ultimately the first Cannes Film Festival was not held until after the end of the war, in 1946. The Cannes Film Festival has faced stoppages numerous times since its beginnings. However, it still has managed to survive, continuing in some form until today. bundle of evening editions. I'll throw them away someday, really. I'm looking at a bookshelf. A paler plank. 
Okay. Is there anything else I could touch here? Oh, I guess the... Oh, okay. Been rattling. Can I get over there? No, I guess not, huh? Limit. I keep forgetting to look down. Okay. Okay, I guess we're now we're going to the rattling door. Uh, what is this? Shower room door? Wait. Oh, okay. I guess what? We're not going to the <laughs> door yet. We're, we're going to the shower room door here first. Okay, we're in the shower. Uh, apparently behind me is a... It looks like a hoodie, too. Another hoodie. Gears of War hoodie. And I saw a... I know I saw it. Okay. I s yes, there is. There is a... There's some kind of metal there or something. Okay, take a seat on the toilet for a minute there and look to the side. When a desire goes unfulfilled, it only increases in power. Stagnating like a blocked pond. Those are the mementos I seek. Those are the kind of memories that will invite me back into the past. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Every time he wants to look at a memento, he uh, has to sit down on the toilet. <laughs> so what's, is that what's going on? Okay. Um, I, I saw a... I don't want to grab that. I saw a... Oh, okay, I didn't want to do that again. In the mirror, there is a... Okay, I guess maybe I have to turn around or something. Okay, all right. Do I grab it from the mirror? I was lucky to survive. Doctor, Ironically though, damaged, dread. I've got a best piece of evidence still lodged in my head. Oh, okay, that's right. I can look around if I use the needle and mouse button, so... Okay, uh, How do I get to the... There was a badge there behind me, a thing. How do I get to... Oh, uh, there we go. How do I... I can't reach that. Apparently. No, I don't want to leave. I just want to... Okay. Ah, there we go. Come on. Wow. <laughs> they make that really difficult to grab that. Okay. All right, let's just go back to the sink here and get some uh, water. Okay. Wait, we're losing stamina for getting water for, oh, for washing our face. Okay, I thought we were drinking. Okay, first aid kit can treat wounds. A sink. Uh, totally drenched. Did the man to use it? No, I guess it was me. Well, obviously it was you. You just used it. I just made you. So, uh, okay. Okay. How bizarre. They make you open every door. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, it's getting on. Uh, I'm going to break this file up into... I'm going to break this into two different uh, videos. Because uh, this is awfully long. And... to see what the rattling is. Where is the rattling? Okay. First we'll use the phone. I am a habitual uh, saver, so I uh, <laughs> hope you don't mind. Okay, let's just get to the door. <coughs> and I'm going to save it here. I mean, I did. And, uh, well, we'll see 
who's, who Amanda is and uh, why she's not just opening the door unless it's locked and she's going crazy rattling it. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, <coughs> My name is Money Says and thank you for being here and listening to this. I hope you'll come back and listen to uh, the rest. And uh, please like and subscribe if you really like it. Uh, give me a chance and uh, we'll continue further into the game and see what's going on. So. <laughs>